Hey, White Rook 85, uh, back before the spring trip for a video. Uh, I mentioned in the fire pit chat if I had anything coming up, I'd try to film it for you and fill the void with Tad. But uh, over the next couple of days, I'm going to be putting up a service first Delta 25 foot telescopic uh, flagpole in the back over here. I'm going to do a little rearranging back here, and uh, that's going to be one of the items that's done. Now, if you can see over here, I've got a, a new fire pit. It's actually not new, but it's a new, new to me. And uh, I cleaned it up, uh, gave it a new paint job, and it looks pretty good. So that's going to replace, replace that chimney is actually what that was, but I called it a fire pit. And uh, going to move it back here into the garden area. Uh, our garden, it worked fairly well, but it was great for cucumbers. But other plants, tomatoes and such, uh, we had that mimosa back here that I had to cut down because it passed away. And uh, that shaded it a lot, so the tomatoes didn't do great. And then when that died, and got a lot of sun back here the squirrels took a bite out of every tomato that we had it was terrible so we decided to scrap the garden do a little bit of reconfiguration back here so that's what we're going to be doing over the next few days like I said I'm not sure how long it's going to take but uh, I'll probably just try to hit the highlights and if I'm doing something different as far as flagpole installation that somebody else does uh, I'll go ahead and show you I'm going to do one thing it's just a tad different and well, we'll see how it goes. Uh, hopefully it'll look pretty good. And uh, maybe do a little chat along the way. Uh, one, one thing I forgot to mention in the fire pit chat, uh, again, the albino trout uh, up. We'll be going for a uh, spring trip again in a month or so, or six weeks, whenever it is. And uh, albino trout, again, uh, if you have any secrets, you know, hey, I'd be glad to be glad to get in on some of those uh, we did pretty good last year and we're looking forward to it again this year but we didn't get any of those uh, big albinos but we'd, we'd certainly like to there's that new fire pit that I mentioned and it's the kind even with the little grate for you want to do some cooking and you can see it was used but a little bit of painting on the outside and eh, looks almost brand new so uh, that's going to go back here somewhere where the garden was and of course the leaves will come out and rearrange some of these boards and etc. But uh, right over here is where our flagpole is going to go. And I started just moving some dirt away around just to, to kind of get an idea. And we'll dig about a 20-22 eh, by 18 inch hole. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start that today. There's the hole. About... Uh, 21, 22 inches wide or so, and uh, it's about a little over 24 inches deep, which is way too deep. But I have this drainage rock, which I have a feeling I'm gonna have to get another bag. And the flagpole, basically this piece will sit on there and the flagpole will go into that. So this, I want to keep it like that so when the flagpole is sitting there, uh, it drains away from it. So thus the drainage rocks. If you're doing some yard irrigation work or yard rain gutter work, I think it'll be nice for that flagpole to sit on. So then it's not straight sitting on the dirt or just the rock. As I thought that uh, hole's a little too deep, but I think it's better to dig it out and then fill it with the stone. Get that drain stone. Believe it or not, that hole that size took me less than 25 minutes to dig uh pretty sandy soil here and some clay uh the only thing that took me a while had uh, this nice root to get out and this bigger root to get out and uh one small root Ugh. took me a little bit with those three roots i got the chainsaw out and chainsawed them off here's the hole right here and like I said, uh, needs, I'd say, two more bags of stone to fill that up, which is which is fine. I'd rather have more drained stone down there than less. I guess back off the lows I go. Uh, probably not going to do too much more than that than this today. Uh, have an appointment later on I have to go to. So uh, be getting cleaned up for that, etc. So this will probably be it. I think I can shoot up the lows. And uh, eh, we'll get that rock, get that in there. 
get that done and then maybe tomorrow afternoon I'll be doing some concrete work. Back for day two, but really this is not a two-day project. This is really part two. I had something to do yesterday morning and afternoon, so I, I had that limited window to get that hole dug. And uh, now I'm out here for the cement phase. And then of course uh, we'll let that dry and get that in tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon. And again, because I got something going on tomorrow afternoon. So probably later towards the afternoon we'll we'll finish it up. But like I said, this is really not a three-day project. It's only because of my time constraints this week. But let's see where we're at. I put some painter's tape on the top of that for two reasons. They want it, uh, they want only want a half inch sticking out. That's where I have the tape at. And then as I'm pouring the concrete in, that way it won't go down the tube. And as you can see, I, uh, I did tamp those rocks down and I'm starting to put some more in on top of that uh, grate. And I just wanted a small layer so the concrete just wouldn't go down there and fill that up. So I'll finish putting some, uh, some more stone, very, very small layer around there. I've got some cement mixing to do today. So uh, I haven't done that in a long time. Uh, that hole looks pretty big. Do I have enough cement? I'm guessing no, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start. And if I gotta put more in, I gotta put more in. I don't think there's an issue with it not being uh, or being two layers and not the everything in the same. So uh, at least I'll get it into the point where uh, I know the post will be level or the, the pipe there will be level and uh, we won't have a crooked uh, flagpole. That's the last thing that we want. So, uh, all right, well, I'll get started. They say two and a half quarts. We'll see. Start mixing it up. Got the old COVID mask for when I was dumping it out. And gloves. Got a level, go ahead and put it on the top. Yeah, we are. All right, let's hurry up and get bag two done. As I thought, the four bags weren't going to cut it. So off the lows again I go. Uh, I took the tape off the top because as I was putting the concrete in, I wasn't getting anything on the top. So I wanted to make sure I had it nice and level. Uh, but that's still maybe a good thing to do, especially if your hole is smaller than the one I have. But let's take a look here. And there it is. Like I said, that's probably about half full. So I'm going to get four more bags. And uh, we'll see where that gets us. But uh, we're looking good as far as level wise. And uh, I'm not sure if you can see in there, but for right now, that drain is underneath of there, which is nice. So if any water goes in there, uh, it's not going to sit on the pole itself. And that was, I think it was 778 for that piece. That wasn't bad at all. I'll be off the lows, four more bags, and then we'll see where I get. Phase two complete. 400 pounds of concrete in that hole. I think I got a little overzealous on the hole size, but uh, I'm sure it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, we do get a lot of high winds here, and of course it's hurricane zone. And there it is. 400 pounds. This is probably actually about 390. I think I dumped about 10 pounds worth. 
Well, we'll let that set up 24 hours and uh, we'll go ahead and put our pole in. Definitely nice and level. There's our grate way down there. So that'll be good for rain runoff. Since this is so uh, fast setting concrete, I'm sure none of it had a real chance to seep down into that grate and uh, mess that up. So, well, we've got a pile of dirt to get rid of, bags to clean up, of course myself to clean up. So, and uh, have something to do tomorrow at lunchtime. So probably see you tomorrow afternoon and we'll go ahead and put that pole in and see what it looks like. It's a nice black one and uh, it honors our armed forces and I got a special uh, little plaque for my dad or World War II veterans also. So uh, we'll see you that tomorrow. Well, here I am in the garage, uh, got everything put away. All the shovel cleaned up and the buckets and everything. I figure I'd show you what I have here for the spring trip uh, and beyond. Uh, Mike has already been up and he's put some minerals out already, which is great. And uh, spring trip time, got the Jurassic block. Food block, that's 40 pounds of uh, Jurassic rock. Uh, that's, uh, that's ground, that's not a block. Apple spice, and over here, lucky buck, lucky buck, and antler king. So, along with all my other junk over here. But you can see I'm ready to put some minerals out, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens again this year. Uh, always looking forward to seeing if we can get a big one in there. To the moment of truth, it's time for it to go in. Have Mrs. Rook out here to to uh, <coughs> sort of make it a ceremony. Uh, also have the oh I forget what that thing's called the, the shield on the top uh, to make it finish it, make it look a little bit better. So we'll go ahead and get the pole in, and then we'll put the finial. It does come with this uh, ball finial. They do have an eagle, which I may uh, may be getting. So we'll see if I get that. In so let's put it in and see how it is. I'll go get the flag. Go. Finger tight. I want to touch the ground, of course. <laughs> All right, so there it is. Of course, you can't see it. We'll we'll step back a little bit. But uh, this is the Freedom Edition, honoring our servicemen and women. And uh, I have a little something that you can get from uh, Service First. And this is honoring World War II vets. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right on there. But. Uh, so far, so good. I'll let Mrs. Rook go, and I'll tell you a couple of things about the flag. <laughs> so, well, thanks for helping me. I want to say goodbye. <laughs> Adios. All righty. And you can see the Freedom Edition here, and I have the piece that goes with it that will go right over top. 
It says honoring World War II veterans, and it has the M1 Grand and uh, 41 to 45. I'm gonna put it right there for my dad. Make sure I get this right. Seems like it's clamped on pretty good. Put some river rock or pebbles around the bottom here. And uh, again, the Freedom Edition. You go around front, I've had those lights in the sun for a couple days, so I'll go get those and put them in place also, get a few of the things cleaned up, rake and shovel, etc. If you were wondering, that, uh, that pile of dirt that was next to the, well, not one stone, not one pebble, not one thing as big as a pea in there as far as stones go. So uh, here, Delaware, we got the, the clay sand soil here. Now, it's nice for digging, but uh, that's why I put the extra concrete in. Well, that wraps up this piece of the backyard reconfiguration. Uh, we still have the garden to do and the, the moving the fire pit, and installing that and uh, moving this chimney. I think I'm just gonna move it to the back of the property and keep it. Uh, but uh, yeah, if something comes up again, like this one, uh, I'll let you know. This is the uh, service first 25 foot Delta telescoping flagpole. This is the Freedom Edition. Again, the Freedom Edition honoring our veterans. Uh, I really like the black version, and this is anodized black finish, uh, 11 gauge aluminum, tested to 100 miles an hour with a 10 year fade warranty on this black here. And you actually can buy paint in case for some reason you scratch it, they do sell paint. And uh, of course you can fly two flags with that, and uh, I, I did have the, uh, the black flagpole flash collar, which uh, once I get that dirt uh, cleaned up. I'm going to put some pebbles around there and that uh, flag collar will be sitting on top of the pebbles. So uh, again, they had the gold ball finial, uh, but there is the eagle available and uh, they do have the uh, halyard. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Halyard, which is the rope system, which you can buy. Uh, I did actually purchase that, but once I got it here and looked at it, I kind of like that it doesn't need, I don't have to bother with the ropes. And things like that. Uh, I do have two spotlights that I picked up and I'm gonna once I get everything cleaned up here I'm gonna put the two spotlights so the flag is lit in the, at night also. So uh, I really liked it. I, I think it's a really good quality uh, flagpole. Really liked it. Uh, two items of course. The flag itself I'm gonna have to replace because it's just a printed flag. It really it, it reeks of cheapness unfortunately. Uh, I'll be replacing that and it's designed in the USA so you know what that means uh, it's made in, in the, the PCR or PRC PRC People's Republic of uh, Crimea no uh, China yeah so unfortunately uh, it's honoring our veterans but uh, and what we and it had to be made in China but everything else I've really liked about it I'll have the links below if you want to take a look. Uh, I paid for this. I didn't. I didn't. This isn't a comp deal, and I don't get any commission on it. If you want to buy one, so uh, all the links will be below. So this is White Rook 85 again with the 25-foot uh, Delta telescoping flagpole, Freedom Edition. Hey, we'll see you at the spring trip.